Hello everybody, it's Morgan from Sweet Clover Rabbit Tree, and today we will be doing a cage tour for Oliver and Willow. So first I want to start off with our little area over here. First we have uh, my hamper and the guinea pig hamper. As you can tell, the guinea pig hamper needs to be cleaned out. <laughs> we just did a cage cleaning. So next we'll be over here to our supplies. So first, in this little cube, a little bumblebee cube um, that I got from... Oh, I'm not sure. I think Walmart. <laughs> so, this is just our easy access stuff like our pellets. Um, as you can see, we do have the pellets with the little bits in them. And uh, that's the pellets that they were on whenever we got them. So, we're just kind of switching them over to our current pellets that we use for our rabbits. Okay. Next, we have Katie All Natural Timothy Hay. We just picked this up for inside. We have the bale of hay outside for the rabbits. Soon we'll be switching them over to that hay because I think this hay isn't as good. Um, nothing against the KD brand, I just prefer the hay that I get from the feed store. So soon we'll be switching them over to that. Next, we have our little dustpan and sweeper. We use that daily, actually. <laughs> Definitely. So we have a, their extra two blocks and an extra two toy. Um, Oxbow Simple Rewards Treats which I love these treats so much. I highly recommend this brand. Uh, I do have a few other treats mixed in there. Um, not sure what the other, I think the other treats are uh, KD treats. And Eco Nutrition Citrus C. As you can tell, it's not the only treats in there, but it's these little orange looking things. Uh, my rabbits aren't big fans, um, but my guinea pigs love them a lot. So, And we just have the rest of the pellets in there. That were just the guinea pig pellets. We have our rabbit pellets outside with the rabbits. Next on this shelf, we just have their extra fleece. And in this little cube, we have the first aid kits for the rabbits and the guinea pigs. Um, it's not that full. I have the rest of it outside with the rabbits. We have an extra hay feeder. I'm not a big fan of this one, so they're not really using it. I'm probably going to put it with my rabbits. Extra water bottle. Um, this is vinegar water. Um, I think it's about, I think it's about 50-50, and we have our puppy pads that we put under the fleece. I think on the bottom there, I got some zip ties. So next we'll go, we have a 2x3 with a 1x2 loft. Um, as you can tell, there's not a guinea pig in there right now. So, but this is where Oliver will be living whenever I separate Oliver and Willow. So, what I think is neat is this opens up just to give me some extra access to the guinea pig whenever I clean the cage as it's a little hard to squeeze through there at the top. And we just clip it on with this. My rabbits aren't really able to open things with those on it, so I don't think the guinea pigs will. And I don't think a lot of them can reach over the coro. And over here... Of course, we need access, and there, as you can tell, it's a tiny bit dirty. This is, as you can tell from my first video, where they were housed first. This is this looks on the water bottle. So now the part I think you guys enjoy the most is their cage. Little overview here. So we'll start with this corner over here. We just have a little bow. I think it looks nice. <laughs> So we have a little bed. I, um, I'm not sure where we got this bed. It came with the cage. I think it might be PetSmart. I think I've seen it there. Um, and of course, this is from PetSmart. It's a little, little Heidi hut, I guess you can call it. And right now, right there, we got SCR for Sweet Clover Rabbitry. And there is Willow. And there's Oliver. Hopefully you could see them. <laughs> so we got a little, blo little box over here. Uh, they like to knock them out and I'm constantly putting them up. <laughs> and we have a race car fleece. Um, I have puppy pads under this. It doesn't have a U-Haul blanket in. Um, I'll be ordering some fleece liners soon. Not sure from where. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And we have their little blue ball. That was actually Clover's ball that she came with. <laughs> I like to keep that in the house and I thought, might as well let the guinea pigs look at it, right? Uh, here's one of those 
citrusy. They like it. They actually finished one off recently, so that's their new one, as you can tell. And, you know, they haven't had it a long time. Some willow sticks. Just a little box with some of that paper packaging in it. Um, they they haven't figured out how to get in there. I have their regular fleece hut. It needs to be clean, so we'll see how they like that. And over here, we have their little hay rack. Um, a lot of people say that they'll try to jump in these. Mine haven't yet, um, so I'll be keeping an eye on them. I know there's been some issues with hay racks recently. And down here we just have a pile. Uh, Willow can't quite reach up there. Um, she can, but she won't. So, And right here we have their pellet bowl. We have a... Oh, I can show off that treat now. <laughs> Simple rewards. I think they're flowers and hearts. And I've seen, I've seen Oliver chewing on these. And Willow likes them too, I think. But he kind of pogs them so she doesn't get a lot. And over here we have our water bottle which they get fresh water daily. I do have a vitamin C supplement in here. Um, I'm very conscious about vitamin C. I have lost a guinea pig to a deficiency. So <laughs> kind of on top of it, it is water soluble. So um, they're not really going to get sick from having too much of it. I also have uh, vitamin C um, tablets that I give them to. And right now we just have a big fleece bed. There's no U-Haul in this one. I think there's just some fleece inside of it too, I'm not sure, it came with the cage, and we have this, which I suppose it's a stick, and we'll see how these guys do with them, I am got them from Walmart, I'm not sure if they're good for them, so I wouldn't really advise them, I think it's more for decoration because they, have, they haven't shown any interest, so we'll see, and right here we got super pet uh, hanging thing uh, they mainly use the bell to tell me that they're hungry <laughs> they don't really chew on it so it's more for me than for them they have a few of those blocks on there and um, little wooden treats little supposed to be shaped like an apple I think and a carrot they love that and that's all we have for them they seem pretty happy in there as you can tell they're not out and about, they just finished their little rounds after I changed everything. So, there we go. Baby, hello. Good boy, Oliver. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, little overview here. Took me about, let's see, two three hours to construct this cage with CNC grids. Um, the cage I had bought second hand. It did come with a lot of the fleece that we have. I think it originally came from Guinea Pig Cages Store. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. And our next video is going to be on cleaning and washing the fleece in the washing machine. So look out for that. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, please tell me below. And I hope you guys will subscribe and watch in the future. Thank you. Bye.